Hello guys, this is Colin with Colin Talks Crypto. Thank you for joining me. So today I just wanted to drop a quick talk about graphene technology. So there's several developers who've been working on a technology called graphene for Bitcoin Cash. And it's been under the works for about a year or two. And finally, it got merged into Bitcoin Unlimited recently. And this is awesome because graphene technology essentially is a more efficient method of transmitting blocks. And it uses bloom filters just like Compact Blocks does, but it does it in a more efficient way by not transacting the transaction IDs. And since all these block propagation technologies are using bloom filters, I thought it would be smart to quickly show in a very simplified form what a bloom filter is doing. So a bloom filter is a compact way of determining whether some data, in this case transactions, is part of a larger set of data, in this case a mempool in Bitcoin. And you'll see that the transactions we've just shown two here are represented in orange. And through some mathematical functions, they change a couple of singular bits in this data set. So instead of having to send the entire transaction, all you have to do is send a couple of bits worth of data for each transaction, which makes it much, much smaller. And so it gets a tremendous reduction in size for data transmission in Bitcoin Cash. This is not something that Bitcoin Core has merged into their code. And it's noteworthy to mention that the famous and great Gavin Andreessen, the man that Satoshi himself handed the keys over to for the original Bitcoin code, basically worked on this technology as well. This is, you know, the code child of Gavin Andreessen as well. And so it's really nice to see something that he's created get implemented into Bitcoin Cash. And this is going to basically reduce latencies and increase block propagation times to be even faster. So if you're aware, there's three technologies that currently exist for making transmission of Bitcoin data more efficient. There's extreme thin blocks and there's compact blocks, which was created on Bitcoin Core, and there's now graphene technology. And so graphene technology is the best of the three. It is performance-wise far superior to either extreme thin blocks or Core's compact blocks. And also I wanted to clear up that you may have heard of graphene technology before on EOS, BitShares, and Steemit. Graphene and DPoS, Delegated Proof of Stake, is the method for which it achieves high transactions per second by using short block times and delegated proof of stake, meaning voting on those who will make the blocks and having a smaller subset of block creators. That's the whole technology of graphene and delegated proof of stake. Not to be confused with graphene on Bitcoin Cash, um, a completely different technology, completely different, has nothing to do with them. So just be clear that there are two separate distinct technologies, graphene on Bitcoin Cash and graphene used in the delegated proof of stakes on EOS, Steemit, and BitShares. Um, I think it would have been very nice if they had used a different name because now there's some confusion. Um, you know, you want to eliminate confusion in marketing when you create a name of something. And so now we have two graphenes. But anyways, looking forward to it. Bitcoin Cash hopefully will have graphene technology on all of its platforms and outperforming Bitcoin Core by just the fact of having better technology. And that's, at the end of the day, that's what we're all about is having the best technology. Having the best technology to send money, transmit money, free mankind, and do it in the most efficient, effective way possible. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Graphene technology takes us one step closer to that. So I'm happy to be a part of the Bitcoin Cash Group, making the world a better place, one transaction at a time. Hope you guys are having a great day. Take care. My name's Colin. This is Colin Talks Crypto. Please subscribe.